Today we're going to be test firing a good fire kerosene stove on 100% biodiesel. Now this particular one is gra gravity fed and uh, the first thing to keep in mind is that the hose that it naturally comes with has to be changed because the solvent properties of the biodiesel eats right through it. So what we're going to do first is fill the preheat cup. Using recovered methanol, we fill the preheat cup. And then the next thing to do is to set fire to it. And there you can barely see the flame because the methanol burning so cleanly. What that will do is preheat the atomization tubes that you see here. You can hear the methanol roaring away there, heating it all up. So just wait a minute for that to get hot and then we'll turn on the stove. And once we have it good and hot, we can start metering into the biodiesel. There we go. Now can you hear that roar? There's a slight wind going on right now. But the biodiesel being burnt right now is two years old. It's been sitting in its fuel tank for the whole time. And as you can see, it's working quite well just as is. These little stoves can really put out a lot of heat. And they are controllable. by using the fuel access knob. Now with proper care and maintenance, these little stoves can burn cleanly for a very long time and provide heat for cooking um, or for other applications. So there you have it our test firing of the good fire kerosene stove. Let's turn that off and the flame will just peter right down to nothing. 